One of my wonderful subscribers asks, can you make a video or post on how and where to take prerequisites? It's more difficult than I thought to find the right schools to take them. Absolutely, very common issue, very common question, especially for people who are no longer an undergrad and who are looking to take prerequisites after they're done so they might be taking one or two classes at a time because they only need a couple of prereqs. So the most important thing I would say about this is that most PA schools more or less require the same kind of classes, you know, biology, chemistry, but it's very important to know that some schools require classes that others don't and the schools that you are applying to may have some of their own requirements like medical terminology or psychology. Not every school requires those kinds of classes. So it's very important to go to that school's website or the PAEA, like I'll show you in just one minute, uh, and make a list of the classes that you have not taken that you still need in order to apply for that school. So how would I do this? I'm gonna answer this question in two ways. The first thing I'm gonna answer is how to make the list of classes that you need, the prerequisites that you actually need to apply to the schools you want to, and also how to get those prerequisites. So the first thing that I would do is I go to the PAEA. What is the PAEA? It is the Physician Assistant Education Association. And according to their website, as you can see here, the PAEA is the only national organization representing physician assistant education programs in the United States. Currently, all accredited programs in the country are members of the association. So this is definitely a reliable source. And look at that, they have a .org, so you know they're legit. So this is definitely a good source. So the PAEA does this wonderful thing and they have a program directory. So like that website just said, every American PA program is registered through the PAEA. So here's a list of all of them. Now you do have to note that they have this disclaimer all data in the directory was reported to the programs prior to the COVID-19 pandemic reaching the United States. So some of these programs may have changed some of their requirements. They may have changed some of their prereq requirements. Who knows? Even though this list is comprehensive, it's very important to look on that school's own website and see if any of their requirements have changed or even better, contact them directly, see if anything is different. But that being said, this is still a very good resource. So. I'm going to pick a school at random, so let's just kind of do this. You can see I'm not picking a school that I know about, I'm just going to do it completely at random, and here we go. Okay, Francis Marion University in South Carolina. I have no idea where this school is, I know nothing about it, so let's go with that. So I clicked on Francis Marion University, they are accredited through the ARCPA. Uh, you can see all kinds of good stuff about them, their mission veterans information, they're a 27 month long program, they take 32 students, they start in August. Basically, most things that you would want to know or most things that most people would want to know about the school is listed right here. Here's their contact information in case you wanted to contact them directly. Their minimum GPA right here, if they had reported to the PAEA, then they would show how many hours they require, but they don't have that. So you probably have to go to their website to find that out, all that kind of stuff. But what we're looking for today is the prerequisite coursework. So look at that. So here the PAEA lists classes that a lot of schools require and what they mark off for each school is which of these classes this particular school requires. So for instance, anatomy, the school requires it and they require a lab. Biology, general biology, they require general biology with a lab. Microbiology, bacteriology, they require it with a lab. General chemistry, organic chemistry, physiology, all those courses are required. So physiology, usually you'd get that in anatomy and physiology, but maybe some schools have a separate physiology class, I don't know. Either way, you would have to get that covered with an A&P, anatomy and physiology, or just a dedicated physiology class. So. A few more prerequisites for this particular school, statistics, medical terminology, general psychology. So as long as you have all those classes that have a little check mark here, you're good. You have the requirements to apply at least as far as prereqs go. So what's interesting about this particular school is they require medical terminology, which not every school does. For instance, my school did not require medical terminology. We actually took it as a separate course online through the summer before our program started. So my program did not actually require medical terminology. This school, uh, Francis Marion does. 
You can see here that the school doesn't require biochemistry. It doesn't require any kind of English composition or literature. It doesn't require sociology. Those are classes that some schools do require. So like I said, this is a good way to go. So now let's go back. Let's check out another one just to see if there's any differences. And I'm going to scroll down randomly again. Okay, Oklahoma. University of Oklahoma, Tulsa. Let's click on that one. So we'll go all the way to the bottom where the prerequisite courses are. So this one, you can see that they require anatomy, but they do not require general biology like that other school we just looked at. This one requires uh, microbiology, bacteriology, general chemistry, but not organic chemistry, physiology. Uh, this one does require English composition. The other one did not. It requires algebra, but not statistics. And it requires general psychology. So you can see that not every school requires the same classes. So you either need to cater the classes that you take to the schools you want to apply to or cater the schools that you apply to based on the classes that you've already taken. So it is important to do that. Now, so that's how I would find what classes to take. And also, like I said, I would go to these schools websites just to make sure that the PAEA information is up to date. So let's do that real quick. Let's just go to the University of Oklahoma, Tulsa PA program. Usually the first thing that comes up, there it is, ou.edu, and there's your physician assistant program, okay? Let's go to admissions, admissions requirements, there's everything, and let's just go down to prerequisite courses. There it is, prerequisites, and here you can see it basically matches up with what we saw on PAEA. They need English composition, college algebra, but no statistics, psychology, chemistry, microbiology, uh, and then there's a few other things here, like an upper division science and then human anatomy and physiology. So it basically matches up, but the school's website might have a little bit more information on the specific prereq that they want. So anyway, how would I get these prereqs? So right now during the COVID pandemic, obviously everything's moving online. I'm not really sure when schools are going to start on campus instruction again. Every school is different, but you can get a lot of these classes, if not all of them online. So I know there's a lot of discussion on which schools accept online classes, which schools do not. Can you take them at a community college? Can you take them at a four year? That preference is completely up to the schools that you apply to. So I would definitely contact them if you're concerned. I just have to tell you from my own experience, community college classes, online classes are completely fine. Some online classes even have a lab where they send you specimens and you can dissect them at home and you can send videos to the instructors and they'll critique you. So. It's just like an on-campus class, except it's done, you know, from the convenience of your home. So again, definitely check with the schools you want to apply to if that's okay for them. But especially right now, I can't imagine that a lot of schools would not be taking online classes. So since you asked where to take prerequisites, I'm just going to share where I took a good portion of mine. I'm in no way sponsored by the school or endorsing them in any way. I'm just sharing my experience from a place that I found a lot of the prereqs that I took and it was very convenient. So this right here is Portage Learning, and they're through a four-year university, but all of their programs here, at least through Portage, are online. And let's just take a look real quick. So Essential Biology 1 with a lab. So you might be asking, how does an online school have a lab? Like I said a second ago, they send you specimens, you dissect them, you take a video and pictures of yourself dissecting them, and then you send the, all those things to the instructors, they critique you, they teach you, so you basically get a lab experience, but you can do it at home. So this is definitely something I found extremely useful when I was in the Navy and I was moving all around. I couldn't just be at one school for a long period of time to take all my prereqs, I had to move around. So this was really convenient. So real quick, let's take a look. So we have Biology 1, we have Biology 2, both of them with lab. We have Medical Terminology, Nutrition, uh, Human Anatomy 1 and 2. I definitely took these online. Even though I took them in college, by the time I applied to PA school, it was so long ago that I had to retake them. So here they are, Human Anatomy and Physiology 1 and 2. Microbiology, Pathophysiology, Pharmacology. If all these look familiar, it's because we just saw them on the PAEA website. I think almost every program requires A&P 1 and 2, so here they are. I think almost every program requires Biology 1 and or Biology 2, here they are. A lot of programs require medical terminology. We're not done yet. 
uh, chemistry. Most programs require at least a basic chemistry, maybe an organic. Here's general chemistry one and two with lab. Here is biochemistry. Not every program requires it, but I personally highly recommend biochemistry. I got a lot of use out of what I learned in biochemistry and it definitely made things in PA school much easier, at least so far. English, we saw that a lot of uh, PA schools require English composition. So here is English composition one, two, math. We saw that some schools require algebra, some schools require statistics. Well, here they are, basic statistics, basic algebra, even psychology, general psychology, or a lifespan, or abnormal psychology, whatever you're interested in. A lot of PA schools do require a psychology course. course. So here they are. Some require sociology. There's an intro to sociology. So just with this school alone, you can knock out pretty much all of your basic prereqs for PA school. And again, I'm not sponsored by the school. This is in no way an advertisement. I'm not getting money from them. This is just a school that I used. Check out the prices. 600 bucks. 600 bucks. The ones that have a lab component are a little more in depth, a little bit more involved. 800 bucks. And it's a four credit class. How much does a four credit class cost at a university? A couple thousand? A few thousand? I don't know. But either way, this is definitely a good resource. There's about 4,000 colleges and universities in the United States. A lot of them are going online now. You have plenty of options to get your prereqs. This is just one thing that I use personally. So to wrap it up, how do you find which prereqs you need? I would start with a PAEA directory. So just directory dot paeaonline.org and find the school or schools that you're looking for look through there that'll give you a start and then go to that school's website look on their own uh, admissions requirements prereqs and make a list of all the things that you need cross off the ones you've already taken if you took them five years ago or ten years ago make sure that's still okay if it's not you're gonna have to retake them so make a list of all the classes you need then Decide which school you want to go to. If there's one locally you prefer going to, that's fine. If you want to do it online, you could Google, you know, anatomy and physiology online, whatever you want to do. One option is this Portage Learning Place that I definitely took a lot of my own prereqs at. It's excellent. I really had a good experience with them. And so you take your list of prereqs, you knock them out, you do really well in your classes, you put your grades into CASPA. There you go. You're done with your prereqs. All right. Thank you for the question.